Connecting the Brazos Valley. This is KRHD News. We are just three weeks away from the November 8th midterm elections as early voting begins today right here in Brazos Valley. I spoke to local voters hoping to be the first in line to cast their ballots. College Station City Hall is one of many polling places here in Brazos County for early voting. A steady stream of voters cast their ballots early Monday, like one Texas A&M student, Carlos Vasquez, who voted for his first time. I took a state government class over the summer, and that's what kind of really convinced me of the importance of it. That and my parents, um, who are U.S. citizens, first generation, uh, really convincing me that it's important to come out and do my civic duty. Vasquez saying when it comes to making an impact in government statewide, that impact first starts locally. I think uh, local government is, you know, an area where we can have a lot more impact uh, than even federal government when it comes to voting people that we can know and, and have a direct impact on our lives. Annika Gernon, another first-time voter, says despite what party you support, just to simply come out and vote. I think regardless of where you stand, I think um, it's your right. You should be able to use your voice to vote for whatever side um, and whatever beliefs you have, especially like the gift that we have of being in America and having this gift to be able to vote and be a part of our local government. There are five voting locations in Brazos County. They include the Election Administration Office in Bryan, Arena Hall, and Galilee Baptist Church over in College Station, the City Utilities Meeting and Training Facility, and the new City Hall. The MSC will not be a location for early voting, but will be on Election Day. A&M students can take shuttles to City Hall during early voting. And tomorrow night at the Brazos Center, you can hear from College Station City Council and mayoral candidates, as well as Brazos County Commissioner candidates, as they answer questions from the community. They're starting at 6 and going on until 8. It's a free event, and everyone is welcome to hear from the candidates.